And y'all know I don't really go live all the time. Just when I'm having an event or someone has pissed me off. And I'm mess with the prince, honey. Or mess with one of my children or my grandchildren. Girl, you know I don't play that. You know Mom B gonna keep it 100. So, I'm more than loving hip-hop. I am a wife. I am a mother. I'm a grandmother, so the things that they don't show and cut out and edit, why don't you come see the real Mama D, okay? I mean, you see realness on TV, but they edit it. Like, I could have said so much more, and you only hear me say one line. So, if you really want to hear it out your own, you know, ears and see it with your own eyes, come see. Check out the Queen, baby. I will be at Lennox Mall, Macy's. By 5 o'clock, I should be ready to serve my Soul Food Sundays, sponsored by Macy's. And um, for those who want to get tickets, you can go to Eventbrite. But go on my IG and see that flyer, okay? And it'll instruct you on how to do that. I did my makeup this morning. Well, we won this morning. I want to say maybe about a little before 1 o'clock I did my makeup. Then I had to go run errands, right? So, yeah. I'm your favorite. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I try to keep it 100. Now, one thing about me, I ain't going to lie. You may not like some of the moves I make oh, throughout the years. It don't even matter. At my age, it don't matter, girls. Girls, girls, girls. Yes. <laughs> it don't even matter. But, um, so... Y'all call people who's not here in Atlanta and tell them that Mama D told you, right? Quote and unquote, okay? I will be at Lennox Small, yes, by 5 o'clock, setting up. By 5.30 to quarter to 6, I should be ready to serve soul food Sundays. Everything is done by scratch. You know, I don't eat canned goods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... We're having that herbal chicken that y'all like and some um, lamb lollipops. And the collards and my homemade potato salad and candy yams and all that stuff. Yeah. Y'all better come. Y'all better come tomorrow. You better call. Look, call somebody. Tell somebody. Yeah. Telephone, telegram. Just tell them. Okay? You, you should be hungry. If you ain't had my cooking, you ought to be hungry. <laughs> I need y'all to come out, show your love and your support. But I know all y'all ain't no such thing as smell a vision. If you want some of Mama D's Soul Food Sundays, you better hop on over to Lennox Mall at 5 o'clock. Macy's. Go to Eventbrite. Do you hear me? Go to Eventbrite on my page, on my IG page, okay? And it'll show you how to register. And, I, you know, I know it's free. So it ain't going to cost you nothing to register. So let me say that. And I just want everybody to stay safe. And, and just watch your surroundings. Because so much is happening out here in this world. Some things we bring on ourselves and some things just happen to us. But be mindful who you travel with. Be mindful who you're friends with. Be mindful how you're living. Because... Some people get this, this thing about they be broke all year long and they think, okay, I'm finna find somebody to get. Come Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, they, they on, on the paper chase. And if you are in their way or in their view, they gonna try to come for you. And you know I ain't lying. So you know we'll be coming back on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. We'll be back on January, I think, the 8th or 10th. So you know it's MTV. MTV. We are no longer VH1. But they're still like under the same umbrella. Yes. So y'all look out on MTV and it will tell you um, when we come back on again. This is part B. Coming out swinging. Loving Hip Hop Atlanta. And y'all know I don't really go live all the time. Just when I'm having an event or someone has pissed me off. And I'm mess with the prince, honey. Or mess with one of my children or my grandchildren. Girl, you know I don't play that. You know Mama D gonna keep it 100. 
because I don't want to act like the martyr. You know, some people get on, they act like they ain't never did nothing. I don't know why they act like that. Everybody come from a past. Everybody got one. Everybody did some messed up junk in their life. And guess what? Here's the good thing. Pray about it. Keep it moving. Jesus only died on the cross one time. Because he knew my crazy behind was coming. <laughs> I look 76. That's okay, baby. I know you're, you had a terrible childhood. They tell me how your mama looked. And you want to say that about me. Oh, wow. They ain't got nothing else to do. People don't bother me. When they say bad things, they let me know they are miserable. They are miserable. And they ain't got nothing else to do but troll. You think I'll take my time out to say anything negative about you? I don't care. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. I don't know you. I don't know you. So it does not give me a right to come to a conclusion about who you are. Hey. So, you know, for people like that, y'all, excuse them. Pray for them. Because they've been miserable their whole life. They jealous of anything and anybody got more than them or look better than them. And then what well, they the ones with the 200-pound mama that all she do is sit in the kitchen on the phone and gossip and eat. But they'll, look, they'll mess with little old me. Little old me. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I had my lips done. You know, Mama D ain't going to lie now. I'm a lot of things, but I ain't no liar. And a thief. I can't stand them. Why well, I look so skinny? Because I lost some weight. Um, to be quite honest, um, when Scrappy and you know who was going through that divorce, you know, y'all don't know a lot of stuff that I'm not saying. And she was just doing a lot to my son. And that's hurtful for a mother to have to stand back and watch their grown son. Because, you know, you can't get in their business. So you have to stand back and watch the stuff. And you can't do nothing but pray. So it had an effect on me. Yeah, it did. So I'm being honest. I wasn't getting any sleep. I wasn't eating because, like I said, she was doing stuff. And she got a lot of people food. But she will be unmasked. Trust me. You know, mommy don't play that. I'm just waiting on on the right time. And whoever been listening to her, y'all going to be mad as hell. Because she got had all y'all food. But anywho, um, I will be cooking my soul food Sundays, and then I will be on stage with a panel of women. It's sort of like a women empowerment. So, yeah. Because we have to love one another. We have to uh, help one another. Like, for me, I've never been jealous of another woman. If I see a woman shawl, honey, I'm going to tell you, I seen a lady, this lady was so sharp, honey, she was cleaning in the board of hell. I was in my car going down Peachtree. I purposely pulled over and told her she had it going on. Baby, if I had a touch that I got cut, she was so sharp. Do you hear me? What am I cooking? Thank you. I'm cooking my um, herbal, yeah, my lemon herbal chicken and um, my lamb lollipops. Yeah. Oh, they good now. They soaking in the refrigerator now. And red wine vinegar, some orange juice, some seasonings, you know, some bay leaves. Because you know that, that lamb got that wild taste to it. Yeah, I got to take it out. Yeah, I got to take it out. Um, I had my lips done in Miami. Well, you know what? It ain't the first time I've had them done maybe twice before. But I could never get the medicine, the full medicine, because... It hurt. You know, they put this cream on you, right? And look, that mess don't do no good. But that needle go down and up, honey, you, hit, you feel that. So now they're doing like this, like like when you get your teeth pulled, they go ahead and stick you up under your gum. And honey, in five minutes, you be from here to here. So I was able to get all my, yeah, all my medicine. Mm-hmm. You know, Mom D going to keep it real. I, I don't like people talking about I woke up like this. Girl, girls, girls, you know darn well they didn't. Hello. 
Well, I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all in Atlanta, go on my IG. Look at the flyer for Macy's at Lenox Mall. And go ahead and register with Eventbrite, okay? And it's it doesn't cost you anything, okay? So go and register, RSVP. Um, so far, there's about 150 people has already... I'm cooking now, honey. I'm cooking some of this stuff now. I can't wait till tomorrow and do all that. Then I got to pile all this stuff in my refrigerator. Yes. So, of course, you're going to have homemade yams, collard greens. Remember how I mix them with the cabbages? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, my homemade potato salad. I don't like store bought. Mm-mm. It don't, you know, mm-mm. It just ain't it. It ain't doing it for me, honey. Yes, God, it's not doing it. And if y'all want some cooking classes, Mama D will be more than willing to teach you. I will always be honest. Because it's so much easier to tell your truth and live in your truth. And even if somebody doesn't like you, don't 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 worry about that. Because they don't have to. You're not surviving off they like or they love. Fulfill you. You get me? Love you. Put you first. And even I'm at fault. I need to go. I need another. Uh, well, it's time for my mammogram. Yeah. It's time for my mammogram. I go once a year. I think last year I went and. Uh, okay. I'm thinking I'm a month behind of a year. But I got to go. But I've been so busy. Let me go check on this chicken, y'all. Oh. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna sit this right here. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. I gotta flip it over. I'm bending down in the oven. I got to store all this stuff in the refrigerator, I tell you. But I don't want to be behind tomorrow, and I don't want to be rushed. So, yeah. Then I got to let it cool off or you can go in the refrigerator. Lord Jesus, keep me never cross. 